Yesterday we talked about other ways apart from the formal deliberate sit to begin building your mental health practice. Where's the line drawn between using something as your meditation and just living your life? For a start, we don't meditate to get better at meditating. We meditate basically as a controlled environment to check in with our thoughts and be aware of what our brain is doing all day. The more we practice, the more we notice our thoughts, feelings and just how present we are throughout our day-to-day -day lives. That's the win. When we're more present, we get to enjoy our activities more and get to be more productive as well. We're not thinking about work while playing with our kid. The flip side is we're not guilty about lack of family time midway through a work meeting. The next question to ask is what you're doing, a reward strategy or an avoidance strategy. Chilling on Instagram or watching Netflix is your reward at the end of the day, something you enjoy and something you've earned, then it's beneficial to you. If you're instinctively, mindlessly browsing your phone or binge watching in order to avoid feelings you don't wanna feel, then it's not helpful. The key is in knowing and being honest enough with yourself to ask the question and listen to the answer. And you don't have to feel guilty if you've been avoiding something because once you understand your behavior, you're now free to change it and empower yourself.